Judge, let's use this desk right over here. You fellas grab a seat, make yourself comfortable. Okay, let's see what I can do about answering any questions that you have about these mopeds. Is a moped like a motorcycle? Well, not exactly. A moped is a motorized bicycle, but it is a motor vehicle. It can have two or three wheels, an automatic transmission, and it has pedals for human power. But with the engine going, it cannot go faster than 30 miles an hour on level ground. What about a driver's license? Do you need one to drive a moped? Well, that's an excellent question, Adam. The vehicle code says no person shall drive on the streets or highway unless they have a valid driver's license. Now, a person with any class driver's license can operate a moped without taking any special examination, like the one required for a class 4 motorcycle license. Now, anyone 15 and a half years old can operate a moped with an instruction permit if they have completed driver's training and driver's education classes. Without those driver's ed classes completed, you would have to be 17 and a half years old to get the permit. Of course, an instruction permit does not allow you to ride during the hours of darkness. What about registration and license plates? Well, mopeds are not required to have registration or license plates like cars or motorcycles, but they are subject to bicycle registration and licensing requirements. It's a good idea to check with your local police department about getting a bicycle license for your moped. If it should get stolen, a record will be on hand showing serial number and complete description. The large numbers of different kinds of mopeds have caused some problems, but we've found the same frame number given to more than one moped. And having a bicycle license will help us get a recovered moped back to its rightful owner. What kind of equipment does a moped got to have? You need a light and hood, right? A headlamp, yes. A taillight, which also serves as a rear stoplight. Side reflectors. And at least one rear view mirror. Fully operational braking system. An emergency engine kill switch. Foot rests for the driver and any passenger. A clearly audible horn. Gas tank cap. And proper exhaust pipes, which cannot be modified to increase noise. Of course, good tires designed for street use. The laws are very specific about vehicle equipment, but most new mopeds are delivered by the dealer with the proper equipment. Do you have to wear a helmet? California laws do not require that you wear a helmet, but common sense should dictate the use of all personal safety equipment. It's just part of being a safe rider. I would strongly recommend wearing a good helmet with a face shield or glasses, gloves to protect your hands, and of course some good footwear, such as boots or even tennis shoes. I've investigated several accidents where if the rider had worn some basic safety equipment, their injuries might not have been as bad. Would his dad have to buy insurance for a moped? Yes, Scott. Adam's father would have to buy insurance on the moped. The insurance would have to cover at least public liability and property damage requirements. Officer, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Well, I've been riding since I was about your age in fields and that back on the farm, but I've actually been riding a police motorcycle for about four years. Do you have to know any special stuff? Well, there are some special tips for riding a moped as well as a police motorcycle that can certainly give you a better chance to stay alive out there on the streets. I would have to say that if I were going to put it into one simple term for you boys, it would have to be both riding ahead of yourself and some good defensive driving while you're on the streets. There are a lot of hazards that are unique to moped and motorcycle riders. You can avoid these hazards by looking ahead and knowing these types of things can happen. A safe rider looks ahead and prepares to stop for any possible hazard. Thank you. 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 Th
for signs or stoplights. When stopping, both feet should be on the ground. The defensive rider looks for oncoming traffic and always signals for turns or lane changes. Let's look at a professional. This motor officer shows that he is riding ahead of himself. He has positioned his motorcycle to the side of the lane because some cars do leak oil and gasoline on the street. Staying to the side will keep these substances off your tires and shoes. A professional sets up for a turn by signaling his intention to turn, slowing down. He knows that manhole covers and even painted lines on the street can be slippery. Well, looks like I won't have to ask my dad for a moped tonight. Sure is a lot of stuff you gotta know before you can go on the streets and ride a moped. Yeah, there certainly is. Well, boys, I've spent about as much time as I can with you answering your questions. I've got a moped accident report I have to finish. What, what happened? happened? Well, I'll take just a second to explain uh, what happened with a girl riding a moped who wasn't paying very close attention to what she was doing. Now, she was coming down 15th Street, heading towards the ocean. She was riding too fast down the hill, approaching an intersection with a posted stop sign. And she didn't stop for the sign, and then she turned right, which put her the wrong way on a one-way street. And the truck was coming southbound at the same time, and a head-on collision occurred. Take care and ride those bicycles safe on your way home, will you? Yeah, I have to get home for something. 